So I've been having another fiddle around with the um, CNC router here. Got a little bit of enthusiasm to do something with it. So I flashed a new version of Gerbil on here, which is, I'm not sure what version I had before, but it's greatly improved, I think. And I've just been messing around with calibration. Um, I got my speeds a fair bit faster now. I'm still quarter stepping, I think. On here, there's a jumper on there somewhere you can change over how many steps. And I think from memory, on single steps and half stepping, it was a bit rough putting the quarter stepping. It's got the motors running a lot smoother for what I've got. But apparently, if you can have it on single steps, it's better because the motors have better holding torque. Something like that. I'm not 100% sure, but it worked fine for me before, so we'll just stick with that for now. Um, there was a question about the calibration of the stepper motors and before um, you'd sort of make a movement, measure how far it moved and then we'd go into the command, I haven't done this for a while, I think we put in like um, dollars, dollars I think or something like that, I'm not sure what we did. You know, yeah, here we are, dollars, dollars, and it brings up all our parameters. And here we have our steps here, and we'd have to sort of measure. And I think there might have been some calculator, I'm not 100% sure. But we'd sort of change these figures here. I've already calibrated the um, x-axis here, because I was just fooling around with it. But you'd say you wanted to change the next figure. Well, all these will be the same, because we're using the same pitch thread. So if we wanted to change 101 would be Y trouble, so we'd go dollars um, 101 where the equals equals so we go 395.9 9 I'm not sure if we use end of block or not, we'll just try enter. There you go. Now if we put in the dollars, dollars again. And we'll see what it's updated to. 395.9, so the same. So that's sort of how you do it before. You make a movement, check it, and then you change that figure. But this newer version of Gerbil, which is a lot newer, where was it? In the machine here, I think it was. Um, Setup Wizard. And we've got this thing now. I'm not sure if it was available before or not. I don't, don't think it was. I think this is only a newer thing. And so that's a version of Gerbil I had on there. I should have checked what I had before, but I didn't. I just flashed it already. Um, so here we've got our... If your motor direction is wrong, you can easily just change that there, which is quite handy, because you don't have to worry about your wiring setting up so much. Um, and then here. So we have... Reset that to zero. So now we can shift across. First you'd make measurement or what you were doing, whatever you're doing before you went. And say that says five millimeters. It should have moved five millimeters. You measure what it was and you put the actual measurement here. So let's say it was seven millimeters. And here, it's changed our steps per millimetre. It's only an estimate, so I did it two or three times to get it right. Um, so we'd put that figure there, that 282.8, into here, and then you'd update, and then you'd try it again. And Yeah, that worked, um, that worked quite well, from what I've seen so far. I haven't taken any test cuts, but that's what I did to calibrate it. And... Yeah, so that was quite a lot um, simpler than the old system. Um, I might just quickly run a little simple program in it, we'll see. Um, I won't cut anything, just make it move.
So this is just something I drew up in Fusion just for a test and then a uh, um, punched G-code with a post presser it has and it just goes straight to universal G-code sender and away you go sort of thing. Just with a finished cut in the ID. Just going home, I'd say. And done. So yeah, well, um, next time I'll load something, might put a part in it and have a go at carving something out. If I find the time. Yeah.